My name's Greg Leonard. I uh, live in Afton, Oklahoma. We're uh, planting corn in Ottawa County. This is the last field. We're actually doing some custom work. We've got finished our, our corn all up to uh, three days ago. And uh, now we're doing a little plant for the neighbors to earn a little cash flow. We're just pretty much a normal uh, Northeast Oklahoma family, mid-sized farm. Uh, there's bigger ones, there's smaller ones. So uh, we try to keep it as a family and, and, and work as a family. And my daughter is very much into the cattle. My son's a little more into the farming, the technology aspect of it. But uh, they both great help. I just run around fixing or helping with repairs and during the summer I plant the double crop soybeans and work ground and combine. I have a small farm on my own, farm on my own just a little bit, so I, during the summer I farm and do odds and ends jobs such as feeding cattle and paying. My favorite job on the farm would be running the, our combine and, or harvesting my crops. information we got at our fingertips here is amazing compared to when I started farming 30 years ago. But for, for the steering part, we, we run RTK, which is, it'll put us back here now or a year from now within one inch of where we're, we're at. We can repeat it uh, with accuracy and we, we have to do that for our farm because we apply fertilizer and strip till with the eight rows at a time and then we're planting here with the 16 row so we're, we're 20 foot wide when we're when we're putting down the fertilizer and working our ground and then we're 40 foot wide when we're planting so we need our our middle row to be exact every time we use the auto steer for lots of things too besides just planting and fertilizer we the controller here controls variable rate fertilizer and then we also take we map our varieties so that We've got, for crop insurance, we've got all the acres, we've got everything mapped, what variety was planted where. When we get ready to harvest, we take this controller, put it in the combine. We put our yield maps over the top of our variety maps, and that way we're able to tell the, which varieties have performed the best on our farms. Uh, we're able to make notes if there's drainage issues or things we can make a note here on the map as we're going and then pull it back up when we're in the office and trying to figure out why a certain area of the field is, is not producing as well as another area. So it, it's it's a great management tool, but it it's, uh, definitely needs to be a tool and not just a cool thing to drive along and watch it drive itself. Mary and I's goal right now is to keep this all together and grow it a little more for the next 10 years and give our children the opportunity after college if they decide to want to come back to the farm that it's here you know make it a little easier for them to start than we did from because we we started from scratch we had help from uh, her folks being uh, being in the farming business here but you know that that's our goal is to look forward to our retirement someday, but at the same time, make the opportunity available. Agriculture has been a great way of life for us, and if our children want to do it, uh, we'd like to make it available for them.